again this week. Look at you shining. Looking like Jello Fry Funny with a pinch of salt and a pop of color in your face. Alright, I know like I kid a lot, but I'm so glad you guys are back. Looking mad good. I knew you were gonna come correct, and so I had to dress up small and spray some perfume just for you, honey. Yes! <laughs> Remember when we left off last week, right? Um, myself and Akoth, who I introduced you to last week, we um, had this uh, boozy brunch or whatever, and we just, you know, we're talking about health and the different changes that we've made to our diet and our lifestyles, etc. And I thought to myself, why not share that with you? So this week, I am going to be talking about caffeine. The almighty caffeine. So if you live in America, you know that we have a very, very strong coffee culture. Everyone has their thing, you know. The Brits have their tea and biscuits. Americans definitely have their coffee, okay? And um, honestly, when I was a kid, I really loved the smell of coffee, mind you, because my dad was a coffee fiend. Like, he would drink, you know, Nescafe morning, afternoon, night, you, you name it. And so I loved the smell of coffee growing up. And then um, when I came to this country and I realized that there was a very strong coffee culture, I like fell right into it, right? So before I go to work, I brew some coffee and I have it with me at work. While I'm at work, I brew some coffee and I have it, okay? And I'm one of those people that caffeine doesn't really bother, okay? I don't really, it doesn't make me stay up. So I can drink a nice hot cup of coffee and go straight to bed. You know, the only thing that caffeine does for me really is like a diuretic, so it takes me to the bathroom. Quite enjoy, <laughs> but anyways, yes. Um, but there are so many reasons why caffeine is really, really bad for you. Okay, it messes up your adrenal glands. Um, it makes you super jittery. You know, your heart rate. I used to get some really crazy palpitations. That's when I knew there was a problem, wasn't it? And I had to do something. Okay, it does mess up your hormonal levels. Your hormones, sorry. Um, it's not good for a woman's reproductive health. If you have um, fibroids, if you have cysts, <laughs> coffee, honey, caffeine will exacerbate that condition. You do not want that, okay? So in general, there's uh, tons of reasons why caffeine is really not great for you. You know, you get high, it gives you a high at one point and then you crash. Not good, alright? So I will be talking about the coffee substitute that I use. The coffee substitutes that I use are both chicory and dandelion roots. My favorite, absolute favorite, are dandelion roots, okay? I love dandelion. And there's a specific dandy blend that I use. I'm going to put an image right here. Okay, that's my absolute favorite. It smells just like coffee, it's strong, and boy does it taste good. Like, it tastes really good and feels really good, okay? So that's my absolute favorite. My second favorite, of course, is chicory roots. Um, and with that one, I don't do the instant powder blend. Let me show you what I use. So I use the Monterey Bay Spice Company um, uh, chicory root. Okay, these are roasted chicory roots. So what I do is, it's just like coffee grinds, yeah? So I brew it in my French press and I drink it like I would coffee. It's quite bitter, just like a little, tiny bit, bit more bitter than coffee. But you put your creamer and you know, you put a little bit of, you know, maybe sugar, although sugar is not your friend, tiny bit of sugar or um, any sweeteners, okay? And then you put your, you know, coconut almond cream and mm, it's so good, just like coffee. All right, and let me tell you what chicory and dandelion are, right? They're both flowers in the family of daisies. Um, you know, <laughs> you know those flowers, the yellow and the the um, the yellow one would be chicory, and the blue leaved ones uh, flowers would be the so the blue leaved ones is chicory, and the yellow one um, is dandelion, and they're just bush flowers. That sometimes you mistake is this sunflower? What is this bush flower like? It's considered like a weed. So when you're clearing up the grass, you're like take off all the weeds, and when you see the yellow flower, that blue flower, mm, 
that's true for me and dandelion bush flowers bush flowers that taste all so good honey okay so don't be dismissing you know bush things <laughs> yeah so um those are where they stem from so we take the roots and they're usually you know they're usually roasted or you may, I, I don't know how else they process it but most of the time you know they're roasted and this is what they use to make the coffee grinds and the coffee blend and the um blends okay that you use for your coffee or teas so why um, dandelion and chicory over caffeine? What are the benefits? Dandelion and chicory roots are very good for the liver. They are really good diuretics, so they take you, they can cleanse your system, take you to the bathroom if you need. They're good for your sugar levels, so your adrenal glands. So especially dandelion, really good for your adrenal glands. So you know when you like, you know, you have this feeling, especially when you're late twenties, early thirties, your mid thirties. Or when you just treat your body bad, you just be chugging that sugar, eating anything, anyhow, anyhow, just like that. And your adrenal glands get messed up um, and you feel tired all the time and weak and you take all the vitamins, you don't know where the, the source of the problem is from. You go to the doctor and tells you that ah, you're, you know, you're, you're up to date, your vitamins, your iron levels are okay, you know. Sleep well, sleep better. If you sleep, you no, you sleep, you still wake up with those, you know, feeling drowsy and tired and extremely weak. You need to check your um your B12 and all that. You need to check, you know, your diet and you need to check your adrenal gland problems. So what will help you with that is dandelion because it has B complex in it. So dandelion roots are really good for that. Um, yeah, and they give you high energy. It's just in general a much much stronger and better substitute it has a lot of calcium in it as well so um yeah that over bloody caffeine okay that you will get a high from and then you crash that's not life so um for all those of you who are looking at me like coffee or die coffee or die teacher i don't know this what i'm talking about listen there are ways to get your coffee fixed and not like you know go through a terrible withdrawal um also what people do when they're you know slowly weaning themselves away from caffeine is they put um a little bit of caffeine into their chicory or their dandelion coffee and they drink it that way so it still has the flavor it still has a little bit of that so they don't feel like you know they're really separated from their coffee and then slowly and slowly and slowly they graduate from coffee beans to dandelion root coffee or chicory root coffee yeah so that's all I have for you this week and um, I hope this helps if you have any questions by the way I am NOT a medical professional if you have allergies or anything of that sort, you need to consult a medical professional or a holistic um, doctor or healthcare professional before you decide to either to have either you know dandelion or chicory okay as a substitute for coffee. Okay? So don't go and say, ah, Chichi told me this, so she told me that. No, use your brain. But yeah, you in general, honestly, you can hardly go wrong with this. But until next week, yeah. I've been your host, Matthew Chimamo. Subscribe if you haven't. Ciao!